Hi and welcome to Show Sir's classes. Today we are going to be dealing with some advanced questions on econometrics. You can call WhatsApp at the number given on the screen for any doubts or more videos on our courses. We are given the following partial regression coefficients and other data that are required. Please observe them and put it in the formula that I discussed in an earlier video. Let's see how to do the next part of the question. Now using those formulas that I had said, the regression results are as yi cap equals to 53.1612 plus 0.727 x2y plus 2.736 x3i the standard error 0.049 into 0.849 into r square equals to 0.9988 thus we figure out r bar square equals to 0.9986 now moving on to a better question now we'll deal with a theoretical type of question it is asked is it possible to obtain the following from a set of data r23 equals to 0.9 R13 equals to minus 0.2, R12 equals to 0.8, or B, R12 equals to 0.6, R23 equals to minus 0.9, R31 equals to minus 0.5, C, R21 equals to 0.01, R13 equals to 0.66, R23 equals to minus 0.7. Let's see. For A, no and our value cannot exceed 1 in absolute value now plugging the given data we can verify that our 1 to dot 3 equals to 2.295 this one is logically impossible thus the answer will be a no let's see what happens for number b following the same procedure as before we find that r 1 to dot 3 is equals to 0 0.397 thus the answer will be yes as r value is within the absolute value of 1 now let's see for number c again it can be shown that r 1 to dot 3 is equals to 0 0.880 thus just like the previous question the answer is an yes because this value is less than the absolute value of 1 let's see a different question if r the coefficient of correlation between n pairs of value x i y i is positive now we have to determine whether the following statements are true or false let's start off with number a r lies between minus x i minus y i is also positive the value is true let a and c equals minus 1 and b equals to d it is right in a different manner and b 
n equals to t equals to 0. Thus, we obtain that r can lie between minus xi and yi and is also positive. Now, let me clear the screen for number b. r lies between minus xi and yi and that between xi and minus yi can either be positive or negative. This is in fact false. The reason being let zi equals to axi plus b and w equals to cyi plus d. Now in the deviation form this becomes z equals to axi yi equals to cy. Now r2 equals to summation zi wi both are small root over summation small zi square summation small wi square equals ac summation xi yi divided by ac root over summation xi square summation yi square this equals to r1 and hence we see that our obtained answer is a false let's see what number c says us both the coefficients of beta yx and beta xy are positive where beta yx equals to slope coefficient in the regression of y on x and beta xy is a slope coefficient in the regression of x on y now since r x y equals to r y x which are is greater than 0 s x and s y the standard deviations of x and y respectively are both also positive therefore r y x equals to beta y x s x by s y and r x y equals to beta x y s y by s x then beta y x and beta x y both are positive and hence the number c statement is true next we have a very important question monte carlo experiment we have to consider the following model y i equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 x 2 i plus beta 3 x 3 i plus u i we are told that beta 1 equals to 262 beta 2 equals to minus 0 0.006 beta 3 equals to minus 2.4 sigma square equals to 42 u i is equals to n 0 42 now we generate 10 set of 64 observations of u i the given normal distribution and use the 64 observations given in table 6.4 which I am going to show you where y equals to cm x2 equals to pgnp and x3 equals to flr to generate 10 sets of estimated beta coefficients take the averages of each of the estimated beta coefficients and relate them to the true value of this coefficients given above what overall conclusion do you draw well, Monte Carlo experiment is a very important one. For this and for your ease, I'm going to make a whole video on this question alone. So click on the video link on, a, on the right side or check our profile if it is not there. With this, we come to an end of another amazing video. Stay tuned, like, subscribe and call us for any doubts or full videos on our courses.